What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big John from Body Forward. And as you know, I'm on a journey for three months. I'm trying to cut 10 pounds of fat off my body and retain as much muscle as possible to look great. Um, as I said in the first video when I introduced what I was doing, the percentage of my macros when I eat my diet is going to be my diet's going to be 25% protein, 20% fat, and 55% carbohydrates that's going to be my makeup for my macronutrients now at every meal I'm going to be eating five meals a day with 30 grams of protein uh, 60 grams of carbohydrates and 10 grams of fat and that's going to hit all my macros and the percentages I'm looking for now I want to give you guys a list of what I'm eating um, for proteins I'm basically eating chicken breast. It has good protein content, hardly any fat in it, no carbs. I'm eating fish occasionally, the leanest beef possible because I don't want any fat because usually beef has a lot of fat in it. So I'm eating the leanest cuts possible. And uh, eggs. eggs, egg whites and eggs. I'm switching up so I would have like maybe like four or five, uh, four eggs. Two of them would have the yolk in them. That's how I would do that. That's basically my protein. For fats, if I'm not getting it from the meats itself, I'm going to be eating uh, dairy, a little bit of cheese. I don't go too heavy on the dairy. It's mostly, though, olive oil. It's mostly nuts and butter, which is incorporated into dairy. Um, now, for, the, for my carbohydrates, the bulk of it is brown rice, Fruits and vegetables. That's it. Now, for because it is a high percentage of carbohydrates I'm going to be eating, I'm going to be eating a little bit more heavier on the starchy, on starchy um, vegetables, such as potatoes, yams, things like that. They're still good for you. Uh, potatoes are still good for you, despite what everybody says. They're still vegetable. They still have great nutrients in them, and they're good in your diet. Um, so yeah, that's basically the foods I eat. That's all the food I eat for the day. It's simple, it's fast, it's easy, it's as pure as possible. Now, I know a lot of athletes can't eat pure like that because you can get big and strong in the athletic world without having a great nutritional plan. In fact, with athletes, the difference between an athlete and somebody being healthy is that most athletes, they just want to be bigger, stronger, faster. Well, you get that way as long as you eat your macros and work out and do that stuff. Uh, but if you want to be healthy, you got to eat the right foods. And eating the right foods requires a little bit more um, precision in your diet because you want to make sure you get the right mi macronutrients. You want the right micronutrients, which is your vitamins and your minerals. So it's more of a science and it's more of an art to eat healthy. Sorry, the bugs are getting me out here. It's terrible. Um, but that's what I've been doing now. I see sometimes, and you say, John, why is your carbohydrate intake so high? Because a lot of bodybuilders, they tend to shut down the carbs. They go lower. The reason why is because I eat relatively healthy. I think that's one of the reasons why. Because it doesn't, it doesn't spike insulin levels as high as if I ate garbage, as if I ate shit. So I can get away with eating a higher carbohydrate intake. And my workouts are more endurance-based. And I'm very active, I'm always thinking, I have three businesses to run, I'm always on my feet, so I need the energy, I need the power to think. So, I need to eat high carbs, and you know what? High carbs are actually good for you, if you eat the right kind of carbohydrates. Because I know some people, they, they lower the carbohydrates and they increase the protein. Another reason why you can do that too, if you're doing that, one, is because each gram of protein and carbs have the same amount of calories in them. So if you interchange them, you're going to get the same amount of calories throughout the day. Um, and if you're eating shittier foods, like cake and cookies and white bread and all that shit that spikes your insulin levels through the roof, you know, it may be detrimental to weight loss and losing fat. So that's why people would eat low, would eat a less amount of that. But if you eat clean, if you eat relatively healthy, and I know there's a lot of talk about what's clean and what's not clean, but if you eat 
more wholesome foods, more pure foods, more slow digesting whole grains and slow digesting carbohydrates. You get away with eating 55 grams of carbohydrates, 55% uh, of your diet in carbohydrates, 60% of, carbo uh, of your carbohydrates in the diet. You get away with that stuff. If you're going to eat shittier foods, it's going to be a lot harder to put that, cut that weight off. And that's why I do it. That's why my carbohydrate intake is that high. Because I said I got all that other stuff I do throughout the day and I need the energy. But I hope this helps. And I hope you follow me along my journey. I'm trying to get down to 6% body fat. And that's all. Just to see if I can do it because I've never done it before. And to make my body look amazing. And to advance myself and see where I'm at and see how far I can push myself. As always, it's your boy Big John from Body Forward. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and go to the greatest website in the world, www.body-forward.com, where we give no bullshit articles and, and videos where we just go straight forward and give you all the information you need, and that's the only place you're going to ever have to go again. Take care.